The food processor is an indispensable kitchen tool, and this Magimix 16-cup food processor is a great choice. It's based on the designs of the original food processor made by a French company, Robocoupe. They were designed for commercial kitchens, and versions of this exact food processor are used by professional chefs around the world today. Chefs love these machines because of their power and durability, 1,100 watts or one and a half horsepower. You're also going to be able to use this food processor for everyday kitchen prep tasks, but also so much more that you would never imagine doing in your food processor. Let me show you some of the components it comes with. It comes with four discs, two for shredding, two for slicing. It comes with these two sabatier blades. They're serrated and extra sharp. And one of the things that really sets this food processor apart are the three different bowl sizes. This is a really handy feature when you're working on a complicated recipe. There's no need to wash out the bowls and replace them. I'll show you how that works a little later on. Some of the great features are the egg whisk attachment, the bakery dough blade, the blender mix, which is ideal when you're working on soups or smoothies. It really helps combine the liquids and the solids together. And finally, the citrus press. This is a really handy attachment if you're making a large batch of juice. So easy to use with the food processor. I'm gonna show you a few of these components at work as I make one of my favorite recipes. Today, I'm making a potato gratin. The first step is to make my egg and cream base. I'm gonna insert my egg whisk into my food processor and put in my ingredients. A couple eggs, some cream, salt, pepper, and nutmeg. And this is a really nice attachment if you are making any sort of sauce like this, or if you want to whisk egg whites, it gets them nice and frothy and fluffy. So my nutmeg, pepper, and salt. Let's put the lid on. If you're whipping cream or egg whites, something where you need air incorporated, you want to remove the pusher. But for this recipe, it can stay on. I have three buttons to choose from, off, on, and pulse. Those will do all the tasks you need. My lid is on, let's press on. And I just needed to whisk my mixture until combined. The next step is to slice the potatoes, and this is where the food processor really comes in handy. I'm gonna insert my extender, and then add my slicing blade on top and the Magimix 16 cup food processor comes with two slicing blades, a two millimeter for thin slices and a four millimeter for slightly thicker. This is the four millimeter. And this machine gives us two options. We can either insert our food through the narrow chute or through the wider one. It all depends on the size of your vegetable and what kind of slice you'd like. I'm gonna go with the narrow one today. Place my potato in, the pusher on top, and I'm gonna be using the pulse feature. Press the pulse and then I'll release it once we're finished slicing my potato. Great, that's one down. Let's try that next one. As you can see, it makes really quick work out of a tedious kitchen task. Fantastic. And let's remove everything so you can see beautifully evenly sliced potatoes. Now it's time to shred my cheese. And the great thing about the three bowl concept is you don't have to wash one out before moving on to the next task. Very handy and a big time saver. The food processor comes with two different discs for shredding. We've got a coarse and a fine. This is the coarse one. I'm gonna insert that on. And as you can see, all of the discs, whether for shredding or slicing, work with the larger bowl and the medium sized bowl. Let's put my lid on. And I have some Gruyere today that I'm going to be shredding. I'm going to put that in my feed tube first. And again, just like the potatoes, I'm going to be using the pulse feature to shred this block of cheese. And you can see how in a matter of seconds that made really quick work out of that whole block of hard cheese. Nice, beautiful texture for my recipe. 
The final step in my recipe is to chop some parsley to go on top of my gratin, and that's when this little bowl really comes in handy. It can either fit right inside the medium bowl, or it even works in the large bowl without the medium bowl in place. Very nice versatility. And this small bowl is so great for smaller tasks, such as making pesto or dressings or chopping small ingredients like shallots. And it'll be perfect for chopping my parsley. I'm going to insert my small serrated blade, place the parsley inside. I'm going to put my lid on, and I'm just going to pulse it for a few seconds. Fantastic. There we have our parsley, finely chopped as our final ingredient in the gratin. So I'm going to sprinkle some of this on top and then bake this off in my oven. And the great thing about this Magimix food processor is cleanup is so simple. All the bowls, blades, and discs are dishwasher safe. The base you can simply wipe down with a damp cloth. The Magimix 16 cup food processor combines the power and durability of a commercial machine and provides so many attachments to basically help with any kitchen task. Mm -hmm.